Good morning, Trinidad and Tobago, and welcome to the Bourse Report. Well, today we're taking a look at financial earnings or financial results, and we're focusing today on the conglomerate sector. Two of the all local grown boys, Massey Holdings Limited, as well as Answer Macal Limited. Both companies, or both groups rather, would have reported increases in their earnings per share, which would have been welcome news to investors. Let's take a look at how both groups would have performed and what investors can expect in the months ahead. Turning firstly to Massey, and for its half year period, ended March 2023, the group recorded an improvement in earnings per share of 16.8 cents, or 9.3% increase from that 15.4 cents recorded in that prior comparable period, driving this performance was an increase in revenue from continuing operations up just about 10.6% from 6.14 billion to 6.79 billion. So certainly positive momentum in revenue growth. Overall profit before tax increased 16.7%. Uh, from 445 odd million to just under 520 million TT, so that a greater than percentage and uh, greater than proportionate increase in profit before tax, suggesting that margins would be improving for uh, Massey Holdings Limited as well. Overall profits attributable to equity holders did increase from 305 odd million to just about 333 million, driving this performance or from a profit before tax by segment perspective. We can see integrated retail. Uh, Massey's largest traditional segment would have improved just around 20% uh, from 256 million in the half year of 2022 to just about 308 million in that half year period of 2023. Massey gas products, that were the gas product segment, did take up have a marginal decline of, of around 11% from 139 to 123 million. Motors and machines improved uh, 11 odd percent from 1993 to just 103 million. Uh, so there's any uh, increased improvement or improvement there in that motors and machine segment. And with the pending acquisition of uh, IGL in out of Jamaica, uh, that gas product segment is expected or forecast to improve um, based on uh, acquisition or growth by acquisition. Now, from a geographical segment, it's again good news for investors in, investors in Massey stock. We can see that moving from that half year 2022 to half year 2023, period as we move across there is a reducing reliance on the Trinidad and Tobago market with that share of profit before tax attributable to Trinidad and Tobago falling from 41.8 to just about 35.1 percent notably most of its other regional segments would have improved in relative importance but of course one of those areas that investors would be keeping an eye on is the contribution from Guyana in that green segment which would have grown from 21.8 percent in terms of share of uh, contribution to profit before tax by geographical region to 25.3%. So it's certainly, again, another positive indicator for Massey from a geographical segment. When we take a look at trailing earnings per share for Massey, we can see that uh, it is continuing to trend in the right direction, uh, that 43 cents on a trailing 12-month basis compared to the 40 cents in the prior comparable period of half year 2022. And with that comes some uh, moderation in valuations with that PE ratio dropping to just about 11.8 times, of course, making the stock relatively more affordable to potential investors or investors who are already invested and would like to add some exposure to off, um, off or increase their exposure to off Massey or to Massey in their portfolio. So at a price of $5, the stock is trading, as mentioned, at that uh, price earnings ratio of 11.8 times, which is well below uh, the sector average of 19.3 times, so more than fair valuations and offering investors a dividend yield of 3.2%. Broadly in line with the sector average of 3%. So with revenue growth in mind, that continued geographic diversification, relatively fair valuations are compared to its historical level, but certainly more attractive compared to the sector average. And again, with um, uh, one eye on those continuing acquisitions, Boss maintains its overweight rating on Massey for the time being. Turning quickly to Answer McCall, uh, the Answer McCall Limited for that first quarter, well, the group would have recorded an earnings per share of 59 cents. Uh, versus the 22 cents recorded in the prior comparable period, a 168 odd percent increase. Again, driving that performance was a 10.3 percent odd increase in revenue from 1.44 billion to one point, just under 1.6 billion. Operating profits improving 120 percent from 74 to 170 million. Overall profit for the period improving from 40.3 million to 117.4 million. Now, what would have driven this performance in the mean well one of the major factors has been a swing from a loss of 40 million in the prior comparable period the first quarter of 2022 
of uh, to a profit of 60 million in the insurance and financial services segment of Ansem Macau. Uh, that would have already been driven by mark the market non cash uh, gains in the first quarter of 2023 compared to non cash mark to market losses in losses in the prior comparable period of that 40 odd million. Uh, the manufacturing packaging and brewing segment in that pink pinkish segment would have declined from 89 to 66 million, just about uh, 25 percent, but otherwise. Overall, uh, Ansem Macal would have recovered in the mean, driven by that uh, recovery in the insurance and financial services segment, which is largely driven by the performance of financial markets. So expect to see some ongoing volatility in future uh, in future periods so as we take a look at some of those prior comparable periods where we would have re observed a loss in the first quarter of 2020, for example, moving to a gain of 62 million in the first quarter of 2021. Uh, you get the picture. It's somewhat volatile in that insurance and financial services segment. Now, from an earnings per share figure or an earnings per share basis, we can see that in that green segment or that green column, there seems to be improvement uh, moving back to uh, 59 cents per share on a trailing 12-month basis. And again, we do expect some improvements or continued improvements uh, barring any unforeseen meltdowns in financial markets. So that elevated a uh, multiple of 33.6 times is expected to moderate as we move further and further in to fiscal 2023. So at a price of $51, uh, Ant McCall is trading at that price earnings ratio of 33.6 times above the sector average of 19.3 times. But again, take that picture with a pinch of salt. We do expect those valuations to moderate in the coming periods and offers investors a dividend yield of 3.5% above the sector average of 3%. So with revenue growth in mind, those elevated valuations, which we do expect to moderate uh, and continue acquisitions as uh, the group continues to announce on a periodic basis, BOSS is going to maintain its overweight rating on Ansem McCall Limited for the time being. Well, that's it for this week's edition. For more information, you can give us a call at 226-8773. Email us at invest at bossfinancial.com. And of course, you can check out our website, bossinvestment.com, where all of our research is absolutely free and you can catch this uh, review in the business section of the Trinidad and Tobago Guardian newspaper. Stay safe, keep dry, and we'll see you next week on The Boss Report. Mm -hmm.